<laughs> Welcome to Twin Cities Real Estate Rhetoric. My name is Tom Summers, and I'm joined by my co-host, Toby Muma. Hey, Toby. Hey, Tom. How are you doing? Good. <laughs> all right. You made me laugh. We're all smiles today. <laughs> uh, Toby and I uh, work together at Edina Realty. That's our broker. And Toby works right down the hall from me. We started this fun little podcast a while ago, and we're here to help buyers as well as sellers. We're in the middle of a series right now, for those of you that are familiar, uh, about the 10 critical mistakes buyers can make when purchasing a home. Right. Now we're focusing on number four, which is choosing a real estate agent who is not committed to forming a strong business relationship with you. Right. Toby, what does that, as a realtor, what does that mean to you? Well, I like, um, I, I think it's good if people interview realtors to start off um, because you want to make sure that you're working with somebody that is, number one, looking out for your best interest, um, making sure they're showing you the property, um, the properties that, you know, you're qualified um, to purchase. Um, I just think just using somebody just calling like off of a sign in a yard and saying, hey, can you show me this house? And then just going with them. I mean, you don't know anything about the realtor. You don't know about, I mean, you know what I mean? It's Well, I plus, just, well yeah, and what, what Toby is kind of dipping into here too is is dual agency, meaning that uh, wow. right now when, if, I ha if, if a realtor has a house listed and their name is on the sign, they are representing the seller, yeah. okay? So my question to you is why, not you, but nah. <laughs> the folks listening, if you're buying a house, mm -hmm. if you call that realtor, they're already representing the seller and have an established relationship. Yeah. Calling them rather than calling someone that will you know, take care of your interests right. is like if that seller was suing you in a court of law, would you hire the same attorney that they hired to sue you? Probably Very not. Good. And Very if you, good. if you would do that, then you probably should stop this right now <laughs> <laughs> because I don't know if we can help you. <laughs> but, but the point no, but is, that's is, true. Yes, yeah, that's very good. You're looking for an advocate and it really comes down to something as simple as, like Kobe said, talk to people, interview right. them. You don't have to ask us a huge list of questions oh. and have to know anything about real estate. Find out what we're like. Find out what our family is like. What do we do on our, on our free time? Find out who we are as people. Like I love music. So mm -hmm. a lot of my clients end up being people that are also interested in music as well. Mm -hmm. We have a connection. So it's that right. type of thing. Right. Toby, do you find that too? I do. I was just uh, trying to think of that book that's something about just getting to know somebody that has something in common with you. And I can't remember the name of the book. Fifty Shades of Grey? No. <laughs> <laughs> that's not it. Oh. Uh, something about ride sure. my bike or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> anyway. Um, but yeah, I mean, you just, I, usually the people that I'm working with are people that are in my area, people that are at the same age as me. We have kids in common, um, you know, that are in sports activities together and stuff like that. So yeah, we have that in common. I think it's nice to work with somebody that you kind of know, but I mean, yeah. I don't know. You know well, what I mean? It's just like it's... when those realtor <laughs> commercials come on and you yeah. see the gal in the, the, the pants suit with the... I'm just like, oh God, that is, <laughs> that's so not us as a as a whole, as a realtor or as a profession. So right. that's all it is: is get to know people right. and talk with them, and you'll be able to figure out go with your gut. Right. Uh, we are here to help. That's why we're doing these. We're not just talking for the sake of talking. Obviously, we're looking for business, but we are truly wanting to help you. So if you're out of state. I hope that these videos help and you can find a realtor that works for you. If you're in town here in Minneapolis-St. Paul area, call us. We would love to help you. We hope that these are educational and that they're helpful.